our audience members. The next uh, couple of questions are um, one submitted by our audience. We tried to combine a couple of them to try and, and hit on all the points. But So this time we will start with Terry, and we'll, we'll go ahead and move the microphone down this way. So the first question fielded by the audience, do you think the county is doing enough right now to protect our environmental resources? If not, what else should the county be doing? Sorry about that. I'm told also that I wasn't speaking loud enough. Sorry about that. Yes, I think we are, we are doing quite a bit to protect our resources. Our resource ordinance is pretty stringent and it's pretty comprehensive. I would like to see it little, be a little bit more personalized. The city of Shelton did a phenomenal job on their resource ordinance, by especially on the streams, by having regulations based on the stream reaches and the type of development. It protected those developments because one of the one things you don't want to do is put a development out of compliance or um, a special condition so that it's difficult for them to get insurance. If they, they burn down, they may not be able to rebuild. And that's what the, um, by personalizing to the specific ecosystem, to the specific piece of um, water or, or river or lake, be very specific into that area so that you're meeting a specific need to, um, to try to protect. Well, protecting the resources, I'm quite proud when I became on a county commissioner and served with Commissioner Sheldon and Ring Erickson because we came forth with the Oakland Bay recovery plan. Oakland Bay was closed. And what happened, people with different ideas and they just let, put their guard down and came together. Let's make Oakland Bay usable again. Like the governor says, is it eatable, swingable, and all that. But Oakland Bay is a success. And we were nationally recognized around the country. How could you get such diverse groups come together and they come up with a common goal? And today, Oakland Bay is probably the biggest or largest provider of vanilla clams in the United States. Yes, I do believe Mason County is doing a great job of protecting our environmental resources. Uh, we have great air, we have great water. The water we are working on all the time, uh, having just done that building permit process and and uh, taking care of our stormwater, we actually had a lot of latitude in designing our stormwater plan to suit our property, and I really appreciated that. There were a number of different things we could do to retain it on the property, and we were able to design one that suited us and suits our landscaping. So I think we have a very good ordinance there that really does a good job of protecting our resources. Well, protecting the environment is really high on my list, and I, I will agree, I think Mesa County is doing a, a good job of it. Uh, but we can't be complacent. We have to stay on top of it. We have to make it an issue. Uh, it should be on everybody's high priority. Uh, and uh, we need to be prepared for growth. If, if the growth is coming, uh, like what they say it is, we have to be prepared for it. And, and uh, keeping a good uh, environment is very high on my list. I come from a different view where uh, I personally believe that you can protect the environment through property rights instead of regulations. Regulations uh, are hurting our businesses and they're violating our property rights and some of the other rights that we have. And, and you can't choose the environment over your personal rights. I choose people first and I don't apologize for that. And I think that uh, by enforcing property rights as it was meant to in the Constitution, we can protect the environment. We just have to follow it. Thank you. <clears throat> a couple of words, first of all. Uh, there are regulations and there are regulations and I think we need some for sure. Uh, look at what happens uh, when we don't regulate banks, for example. Uh, the point about your question was about our, our natural resources. I think that we're doing a pretty good job and with a lot of emphasis on salt water and, and uh, forestry resources. I don't think we have nearly enough emphasis on fresh water. 
I think that we're sitting up here on Johns Prairie on top of a class one aquifer that has a number of potentially polluting, uh, contaminating industries up here that are not being uh, regulated and not being monitored. I think fresh water is critical for all of us and I think we need to pay more attention to it. Are we doing enough? I think was the question. And the question, uh, we have enough regulations, but are we actually enforcing some of the ones that we have? Regardless of who you are, how much money you bring to the table, or how small or how, who you know, who you're connected with, or even if you're an environmental group that's supposed to be the one protecting it, but you're not, you have to be held accountable, and you have to follow the same regulations as everybody else. We have enough of the regulations. Do we have enough of the enforcement? And I'd say that's where we're lacking is some of the enforcement of them. I think we're doing a fabulous job here in Mason County. And as a real estate broker, once again, I see the septic systems that are going in now are top quality. They are very good septic systems. But I do think we need to take a look at these two other, there are some out there that are failing that we probably need to look at and have those taken care of. But you know, we can over-regulate. Pretty soon people are going to lose all their property rights. Look over in Thurston County, you've got the pocket gopher issue over there where people can virtually not even build on their property on a five acre piece of property. It's getting out of control. We got to have people's rights here. We got to think about people's rights. Sooner or later we got to pick people over pocket gophers. We have to take a look at that and, and deal with that. But I think our water quality issues here are good. They're working very good, and I think that we do have. I, I'm partnership in the shellfish industry, a small one, but I am partnership in it. And I'm an avid steelhead fisherman, avid salmon fisherman. So those are very important issues to me, too. But I think we're doing a fabulous job. Well, I believe in being proactive versus reactive, but I also believe in not panicking. And uh, I, again, I grew up right here in Mason County, and I can tell you that uh, it's dramatically different than it was when I was a kid. And I think companies like uh, Green Diamond and, and Mankey and uh, Taylor Shellfish and some of those have really changed their methods and uh, really made a difference on um, what the environment is. And those are the staples of uh, the backbone of this community. And, um, you know, I mean, the, from the logging, uh, harvesting, the, the methods they do that now, it's dramatically different, it's dramatically improved. I think these companies are doing a great job and I don't want to see us overreact and, and become so afraid that we just take away everybody's property rights. Um, I think people buy a piece of property, they have uh, a dream of uh, building their, their uh, you know, home and I think that we need to work out ways for these people to actually accomplish that dream and work with them, not stifle from them. Well, I wouldn't want to start by being negative, but um, because I think people do want to do the right thing for the most part, but there are people who don't, and there are also governments that don't. I'm, I'm concerned that um, we are not engaged as a commission. I go to a lot of meetings. Like I said, I'm a volunteer, and I find myself in a variety of uh, meetings for who knows what reason. But um, like I said, the most recent one had to do with water quality, and I think we've got some really big problems that we are totally ignoring and that's not acceptable to me. We talk very well, everyone has said that the county is doing a great job, but from my standpoint, I don't see that. The community gets involved because there are problems and they're not being addressed. So I think that we need to really think hard about that when we take a county commissioner next time. Well, and I would disagree with you. I think the county is doing an excellent job. And uh, just a couple examples. If you want to build a sewer plan, worth about 40 to $50 million, and you can find 85% of that money for grant funding, you're doing a good job. That sewer system will do more to protect water quality in Lynch Cove than anything uh, we could do. I can tell you that we are, uh, we have a strict geotechnic, uh, technic, uh, technical ordinance which prevents landslides. Uh, Ross mentioned the $200,000 that we put in yearly to uh, Oakland Bay to keep that shellfish resource viable that's very important uh, timber is a renewable resource we know but the county doesn't regulate timber and forest practices but we do work closely with the state 
I'll give you one example. Drive into Shelton from the, from the south and you don't see the Mill Creek Motel anymore. Uh, that is, a, is a nice to have cleaned up. Take a look at some of the other uh, eyesores that we've cleaned up over the years, and that's hard to do with the laws that we have. Our solid waste collection is good, and I'll close with this. Um, I wish we had more money to control dumping in forest land. That's really uh, a disaster out there, but we're seeing more and more. Thank you. Um, I'm going to go ahead and start this question 